in this video. We will show you how to fix the game 7 Days to Die that keeps crashing on the Windows 11 computer using the Xbox app. Game crashes may occur every now and then but most of the time. They're not serious and you may be able to fix them easily if you're one of the gamers that have encountered crashes while gaming with 7 Days to Die. The first thing you have to do is to force stop the game service. When a game crashes, one of its services might be left running in the background so make sure to stop it before anything else. Here's how it's done. Press the control, shift and escape keys at the same time to pull up the task manager. Look for 7 days to die and click on it. Once selected, click end task at the bottom right corner of the window. After that, launch the game again and try to see if it still crashes at some point. If it still does, then the problem can be with the Xbox app, so you have to restart it and see if that fixes the problem. To do that, click the X at the top right corner of the window. Then click the small arrow pointing up at the bottom right corner of the screen. Right click on the Xbox icon, and then select quit to close it. After doing that, launch the app again and then open 7 days to die to see if the problem is fixed. If the game still crashes at some point, the next thing you have to do is to restart your PC itself. Doing so will refresh its memory and reload all services. So just click on the start button, and then click the power icon. Select restart and then wait until your computer finishes the reboot. After that, launch the game again to see if the problem is fixed, because if it continues, then you have to verify and repair the installation files. It may sound a bit complicated, but don't worry. The Xbox app will actually do that for you. So to initiate the process, launch the Xbox app. Hover the cursor over 7 days to die and click the more options icon. Select manage among the other options. Click files. Now click verify and repair, and then wait until the whole process is finished. Don't worry, it will take just a few seconds to a minute. Once finished, launch the game and it should work properly after that. However, if for some reason the problem continues, then you really have to reinstall the game, which means you need to uninstall it first and here's how you do that. Launch the Xbox app. Hover the cursor over 7 days to die and click the more options icon. Click uninstall game and select yes to confirm you really want to remove the game from your computer. Once the game is successfully uninstalled, search for it and then reinstall it. It will take just a minute or two depending on how fast your connection is. Once it's reinstalled, run it and it should work properly after that. We hope that this troubleshooting guide can help you. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.